What's going on everyone? It's UFC 302 fight week and we're looking at the main event Dustin Poirier versus Islam Makachev. Let's talk about it. So here it is the last opportunity for Dustin Poirier to get the lightweight title and it's probably in the hardest matchup possible. He has Islam Makachev in front of him. The guy that looks completely unbeatable in the division. No one's really seemed to figure him out. And this is going to be a really interesting fight. Especially because this probably will be Dustin Poirier's last ever fight. In the build-up to this fight, Dustin's talked about retirement a lot. And it's not really something I love for a guy heading into a title fight. Because your focus should be on the actual fight instead of what comes after. But... I mean, Dustin's at this point in his career where he has the resume, he has everything he needs to go into the UFC Hall of Fame, but he has the one thing that seems to have been bugging him his whole career, and that's the UFC lightweight title. He's had two cracks at it before, of course, Charles Oliveira, Khabib, no opportunity for him to get them there, and both of those guys had something in common, they submitted him. In this fight with Islam Makachev, let's be honest, that's probably what Islam's going to try and do too. Especially with Dustin wanting to jump the guillotine, I could definitely see it happening. Dustin jumps the guillotine, Islam counters, Von Flute choke, there you go, and still. But, I'm hoping he doesn't take that approach, because if he doesn't, I actually do see one way he can win this fight. This is obviously an extremely tough fight for anybody who fights Islam, because Islam is not just one-dimensional. He's actually a really great striker as well, and that's another thing you have to worry about when fighting him. What Dustin's going to have to do is he's going to have to really try and close the distance with Islam and get some nice smart shots off. But he's going to have to be quick because once he enters the pocket, he needs to make sure he lands. Otherwise, it's going to be a free opportunity for Islam to go for a takedown. And once Dustin ends up on his back in this fight, I don't think he's going to be able to get up. Another thing that kind of favors Dustin is that this is a Southpaw versus Southpaw matchup. And while it is fair for both guys because they're both southpaws it favors dustin a little bit more because he has had more experience with southpaw fighters and it's not something that islam is going to be able to deal with lightly because in a southpaw stance that up kick that he hit on volkanovsky it's not going to be there this time and he's going to have to find a different way to land on poirier's head i think a head kick is going to be really tough for islam this time around i don't see it happening just because of the stances so for islam to do any serious damage to dustin on the feet he's going to have to get really close and crack him with punches but i honestly don't see that because that's just not the type of fighter islam is islam is definitely going to resort to the wrestling in this one and if he wins which probably will that's probably how he's going to do it. I could see a submission. I could see a TKO ground and pound finish. But I don't think Islam's just going to knock him out clean on the feet. Now, in all honesty, this is a fight that probably shouldn't be happening. I mean, I love Dustin Poirier, but he does not really deserve this title shot. It's just kind of right place, right time. Everybody was booked up and the UFC kind of backed themselves into a corner with this one. And that's why Dustin's getting the fight. I'm not completely against it because I think Dustin's awesome and I think I would love to see him come out on top and I think a lot of people are. A lot of people seem to be cheering for Dustin Poirier in this matchup and I obviously see why. He's a fan favorite, legend of the sport and this is his last chance. Even if he were not to retire after this fight, which I honestly, in my personal opinion, think he's going to be retiring no matter what, win or lose. But if he were to go with a win, I mean, it would be absolutely legendary. No one really retires at the top. And for Dustin to finish off his career with the title that he has been chasing his entire career, it would truly be special. But it's going to be no easy task. This might be the hardest title fight that he's going to be partaking in. I mean, Islam is a complete package at this point. He's not a fan favorite. A lot of people find him boring. But at the end of the day, he's effective. He can grapple, he can wrestle, he can strike. Islam is a complete package, and he's the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world for a reason. So this is as tough of a fight as it gets for Dustin Poirier, but he's overcome adversity in the past, and he's been able to hang with top guys for so many years. So I think he still does have a really small chance to win this fight, and I'm hoping he pulls through. Now, in the build-up to this one, everybody's been bringing up the Adriano Martins knockout against Islam early in Islam's career. By the way, for those out there, that's not Pantoja. That was a joke. I thought everybody got it, but I think there's actually people out there that think that was Pantoja. It's not. Pantoja's a midget and is nowhere near Islam's weight class. Anyways, Adriano Martins had a nice counter right hand that landed on Islam flush and knocked him out. A lot of people are saying, well... Poirier's also a southpaw, that counter right's gonna be there, and I agree it could be there, but that was Islam also like nine years ago, I mean, he's a completely different fighter now, with a completely different skill set, 
and I just, I don't see a world where he walks into Dustin Poirier's shots. I mean, that's the one thing Khabib, Javier Mendez, and all those boys over there are going to be telling him heading into this fight. That's something I completely forgot too. I mean, Khabib is in Islam's corner. He's fought Dustin before. He knows how to beat him. The training that they're going to put in, I just can't see Islam coming into this fight unprepared and not knowing what he has to do to win. And I just, I find it really difficult to see a way where Islam loses to a guy like Dustin because... He's had the looks that Khabib's had before. Khabib's going to provide the insight. And they're just going to figure out how to beat him. I just, I'm cheering hard for Dustin because I love the guy. But I just, I'm really struggling to find a way where he wins this fight. But don't count out the diamond yet. He's still, everybody is a fighter's chance once the cage doors close. And if there is going to be a way for Dustin to win this fight, he has to be on the feet. He has to be getting in Islam's face. And he has to be landing every shot he throws, any miss swings, any overthrows. Islam's going to go in, shoot for a double, bring him down. And every round's going to end like that. Poirier's not getting up from his back onto his feet against Islam without giving away his back or getting submitted in another way this fight has to stay on the feet for dustin to win maybe back him into the cage start ripping to the body ripping to the head and just put on the pressure dustin has to be throwing a lot of pressure in this fight he has to be on the front foot and that's the only way he's gonna win so my official prediction it's gonna be boring but it's gonna be islam makachev to win i honestly could see a tko the most likely option like i said before if Islam takes Dustin down, which I'm banking he will at least once, I'm going to find it really difficult to see Dustin stand up again. And I think he could just rain in punches and elbows from Mount and just end the fight from there. A nice TKO finish. But I hope I'm wrong. I doubt it, though. I think Islam Makhachev is the pound-for-pound pound best fighter in the UFC right now. And he's fighting a guy who one of his brothers has fought before. He knows how to beat him. These guys have trained for Dustin Poirier before. Dustin Poirier isn't one-dimensional, but a lot of his skills are on the feet. Give me Islam Makachev to win. I hope it's an exciting fight. I hope this doesn't end in the first round, but I don't know. Islam's a different type of beast. I just hope Poirier can still hang with him. So there you guys have it. Those are my thoughts on this UFC 302 main event. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Do you have Islam? Do you have Poirier? Drop your thoughts and tell me why you think your guy's going to win. I went with Islam because I think it's just the more logical pick, but I'm really hoping Dustin can pull through. Thank you all for watching once again, and stay tuned for more videos this week. We're going to talk about the Kasha Strickland fight. Also later on, get some predictions in towards the end of the week, and also some bets that I'm going to be making for the card. Be on the lookout for all that fun stuff. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next one.